This is my limit look. My limit look? This is my limit look. Yeah. Thinking about this going no hat today with the big hair. Big hair for big fish. Isn't that the motto? Uh, yeah, big hair, big fish. Big hair, big fish. I can go surfing on that's, that. I mean, that's worked for you. I mean, last year, dude. I mean, how many big fish you caught last year? I mean, you caught mostly so in pra mostly in practice. Uh, many big ones, yes, you did. And you look like a dang Wolfman Jack all year. I'm Wolfman Think about Jack. not cutting my hair the rest of the season. I hadn't caught a big one yet this year. I didn't even catch a big one up Because you had a haircut. You got a haircut. You came all trimmed up. And you all Wolfman out. That's when the big ones show up. Is this better? Yeah. That's it. Look, there you go, right there. Just rub my hands in my hair. Wolfman Jack, look. Wolfman yeah. Jack catches the big ones. Did you really just use my toothbrush? Well, I, mean, I, I couldn't find mine for a minute. And then I did. It's right there. I know. I use your toothbrush, dude. I it's had water. Soak, it's soaking water. I had water because I was shaving and I put, put water up. washed all that. Oh, yeah. I washed all that. 40, boat 40, Matt. Canterbury, your boat 70? No, like 78 or something. I'm the last man out. Boat 100. I mean, if there's already if there's already like five or six boats in there, dude, I'm probably just going to run on down and catch that sight fish and come back, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. You know how I know Matt's going to whack him? Because huh. he hadn't been in panic mode about, oh, my God, oh, my God, I got to, I got to, I got to. He's killing them. Yeah. Lots, listen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> listen to that story. Yeah, I have not caught it. This is the guy's honest truth. I haven't caught a three-pounder since I've been here. Yeah, you had to shook him. You shook he had him had a hook on him. Yeah, had a hook on him. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> exactly. You're not an idiot. That's why they're all three pounds. We made it here. Everybody's kind of getting ready. You know, we kind of thought there might be some fog come uh, tournament day because many times I've been here, it's been really fogged in. We're up the Flint River in Bainbridge, and uh, it just gets just foggy here. So, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be an issue today, which is good, so we're gonna get a, a full day of fishing here. We're boat 100. We just gotta catch them today. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We've got a lot of options. We've got a lot of little things to do. We're gonna go out there. We've got all day to do it. And uh, let's just catch a big bag today. All right, what's up, y'all? Day one at Lake Seminole, and we're on a major warming trend this week. Um, lows at night, 65, 70 degrees. Biggins are gonna bite. They're gonna show out. Canterbury's sneaking over here giving me faces. <laughs> Uh, dude, just just being Canterbury, that's what he does. Um, tune in to Bassmaster.com. It's gonna be a uh, gonna be a show this week. I just hope I'm part of that show. The wind's been blowing bad all week, so it's been sort of tough practice. But uh, looking forward to getting out there. I think a lot of fish are starting to move up. I really think they moved up yesterday. So we're gonna give it our all. See if we can't catch a big bag today. There's a lot of important equipment on the boat: power poles, jack plate, engine, rods, reels, tackle, all the stuff. Sunglasses are very important. I want to say a huge shout out to Bahio for making an awesome pair of polarized sunglasses right here, guys. These things rock. Lots of different lens colors, lots of different frame sizes. And um, being able to see in the water, being able to pick up visual clues while you're fishing, whether you're sight fishing or just seeing grass in the water, looking at, the, looking at how the bottom looks, all those things are so important every day and how to make a decision on where to fish and how to fish and uh, a good pair of polarized glasses is, is really probably the, one of the most important things. Like if I didn't have my glasses on, I don't know if I could fish. I'd have to like make a special trip back to shore and figure out how to get another pair because that's how important a good pair of glasses are. So huge shout out from Bahio for sponsoring this video series and uh, check them out. We're gonna drop some links in the description down below. Good people with good glasses. What is
don't think he's 12. I don't know. No. Dang. Not going far. Not going far at all. There's something right here by this stick. There's a that's a four pounder right there. He lives right there. See him right there? See him in the water? right here. I think he's right in there. Pretty sure he's right. Keep filming. Yes, sir. Right there. there we go. Yes, sir. Exactly what I thought she weighs. I thought she was a four. She's actually bigger than that. All right, guys. Dude. Awesome. Awesome. I found that fish the other day. It was a one cast fish. And that was a one cast. First time I found her. Don't, I couldn't see her on the scope, though, for some reason. Mm. Like them when they're one casters. Thanks, Garmin Pen Optics. You're awesome. Him in 
tell where he lives. We definitely need him. Ooh, there's another big one. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, that's a six-pounder. They're moving in, dude. There's a five-pounder and a four-pounder there. He's got it. is the get rid of side. It's the donk side, the dink side. That's four. Let's go. Number five. Five, five, five alive. Just like that, we went from, we went from looking bleak to, we got a chance, boys. Now, take some pressure off. Focus on fishing. Focus on trying to get some big ones. We're gonna look around, see if we can't find a couple of big ones on beds. Then we're gonna go. That's good, that's just good. He's there. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? <laughs> One flipper. Not as big as I thought. I thought he was going to be four pounds. But He's a good three. Helps me buy over a pound. That's good. Put him on the good side. All right, cool. Bonus bite. I'm a fluke. <laughs> Another two and a half, two and three quarter. All five good ones over there. I love this little guy. He's awesome. <laughs> I love him. He's a cool dude. I just hope he swims back. I just started kissing fish last tournament, by the way. Oh my gosh, big one. 
Now, I thought he's big, big. I don't think he helps me. I got a two, like, oh seven. Nope. I thought he was big, dude. When I set up on him, he wasn't moving. He was just shaking his head down there. I was like, uh-oh. I done got a dang. Seminole source. Yeah. You just tell me to go wherever you need me to go. Just place their gun in this fish. Place God. God. Please. Oh my God, that's, that dude, that's big, that's, that's probably pushing seven. In the mouth, you see it? Yep. Oh, that, we gotta get a pic, we gotta, we gotta get a picture. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> you called it, you said it was gonna bite. Oh my gosh, man. No idea which one goes next. Oh. <laughs> I knew she for you to build, for, for you to call that and said and you just knew how she reacted that's, to that. I mean that's 17 Se pounds right there. Seven pounds. 17 pounds. Well, I put it Wait. in a six and a half. Six and a half. Okay. Yeah.
that helps a bunch. That helps a bunch. Thank you, Lord. Little buddy's gotta go. I don't think he helps me. I don't think he does. Yeah, he doesn't help. So not a not a bad little call there at the end you know that's a basic area where we started this morning there was so many boats in there it was unbelievable so I'll be one of the first boats out I'll be able to get on the spot tomorrow hopefully catch a few there you know Ike caught a lot of his fish there if not all of them so he's gonna be a later boat but I'll probably have to move out of the way just to be you know proper etiquette I guess but that being said it was a fun day Gotta go catch them again, that's for sure. Hot fish for Scott Canterbury here today. 13 pounds, 3 ounces, puts you in 41st place currently. He's going to be battling it out tomorrow. Yeah, I got to battle it out, see if I can't find some bigger fish, uh, try to get into cut. You know, I'm top 50 anyhow, so uh, it's pretty tough out there. It's been tough all week, but I, I mean, it really was a grind today, and I thought it was going to be a lot better, but uh, man, they're in here. This lake's got them. I just hope they show up tomorrow for me. Well, it's great to have you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's bring out day one like Seminole, man. It did not go very well. You know, I had 13 pounds. I caught a lot of fish, just didn't catch any big ones. So uh, hopefully, get back out there and uh, try to gain some momentum in the morning, catch some big ones. Hopefully, we can all three make the cut this week. I'm sort of at the bottom of the pack right now, but going down swinging tomorrow. All right, let's go. What's that one? Eight and a half, nine? Yeah, seven, probably. Got it? Yeah. Uh, Two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Derry. Five fish here today. 18 pounds, eight ounces, a decent start indeed. He moves into sixth place. That is a big, big seven old bass. Needs to be better than six, a six to take over Phoenix Boats, big bass. He dedicated to his girl, so if he wins this, they get the cash. 8 pounds and an ounce of brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass. You can uh, do your negotiating on the cash thing privately, but uh, I'm just trying to help the children out. They're the future. I've been doing this, this is my 15th year full time as a professional angler, and it's tour level. I have never won Big Bass in an event. I've lost it by one ounce a bunch. Um, so there'll probably be an 8-2 coming up short, shortly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find out shortly, but a great start. Those are the bites I'm going to have to have tomorrow. I, I mean, I, I found her on the bed today. She was fresh, caught her really quick, looked for another female, never found another female, just caught bucks the rest of the day. So um, tomorrow, same game plan. I'm going to go looking. Uh, if the wind would lay down and the sun would come out, I think I could find some big ones, but I just can't see where the crap because it's weather. Um, Lord willing, we stumble across a couple of big ones tomorrow.
from Clewiston, Florida, seven-time FLW Tour winner, Scott Martin. Scott Martin, five fish here today. 16 pounds, seven ounces. He moves into 19th place with 16.7. Decent day. Yeah, you know, the practice was extremely tough. I mean, you know, everybody's been saying the same thing, but, you know, you, you just make adjustments, you just keep moving around. I caught a few fish, so hopefully tomorrow I can do the same thing. But it's a little sketchy out there. The sun will come out and the wind will stop blowing. I think things will happen, but we're waiting. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but the Lord blessed me a ton. I want to say hi to my wife. I know she's watching at home, and Hillary and my girls are all at home watching, so let's do it. Keep it rolling. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. 16 something. I tell you, I'm happy with that. I mean, caught everything I could catch. Had a couple bonus bites. You know, I don't know. We're going to have to regroup for tomorrow. Matt caught a big bag. I see it on the board. He had like 18 pounds. I hear they caught an eight pounder, which, you know, you're watching the video, so you can know this before I do. But I uh, can't wait to see that footage. I bet that's pretty ridiculous. And Canterbury had, uh, I think, 13, which is a little off for him on this lake. So I fully expect him to jack a giant bag tomorrow. If anybody can make a big, big bag, it's Canterbury. He's a fantastic fisherman, number one. Number two, he likes his lake, so he's due for a, a mega sack tomorrow. We just got to go out tomorrow. We just want to make the top 50. Let's get a check. Let's get some points. Let's go out on Saturday when it's dead calm and sunny and just go sight fishing and have a ball. How about that? See that? Scott never had one of these. Even when he ran a ranger, Forrest never gave him one. I got one. You know why? Because I'm a talk show host. Dude, how? I finally caught a big one. How? How did it? But I hadn't caught a big one. You gotta call Bass and tell him that you messed up. Something's wrong. You gotta turn yourself in. Because the fish is only six and a half pounds, dude. They must have typoed it. And then, I don't have a scale in my boat. Should I slap you an hour later? Like, what do you mean, dude? You, there is none in the history of bass fishing. There's ever been an eight pounder in anyone's hands that they thought was a six pounder. I just, I can't, I can't deal with the whole. What? I only got six pounders. Now they're eights. <laughs> I said six and a half. It was an eight one. I wasn't that far off. Pound yeah, and a half. That's way off because a body of a six pounder looks like six pounders kind of look like six, seven pounders. Eight pounders you think are tens. Like when you catch a legit eight, you're like, dude, that might be you know, a ten pounder. You know pounder. what the difference is? You always catch eight pounders. I don't. You live in Florida. I don't even know what they look well, like. You should have been spun. You should have thought it was a 14 then. You've been like, dude, oh, I should have put it in his bass track as a 14. Yeah, start going Next the other way. Do. do that the other way. I'd rather have that. I let him go. Hear me? So I'm so that looks so good. I'm so used to not throwing creatures on me. Wow. Ooh. That looks. That looks like some serious protein right there, Bob. There's forks over here. I washed everything. Look at this rattlesnake I recorded today. Wow. Oh, he's floating on top of the water, dude. Look at it. Dude, oh my when, God. when they're on top of the water like that, you do not mess with them. Dude, I'm five foot from him. Rattlesnake too. All poisonous snakes float like that, like right. styrofoam. Yeah. That's the biggest one I've ever seen was that you follow. Oh, I've seen Swimming some across the water lake. that you follow. It was giant. Look at his head. <laughs> that thing is that thing, huge, That's a bro. diamondback, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eastern diamondback. Nah, no, bro. I think I'm close enough. I say. No, bro. <laughs> what, is that like five foot? Dude, that is unreal. Hi boys. Y'all ready? I'm okay. boat 65, check in at 430. So what's our goal today? What's our goals? Might top 50. That's right. Be leading tournament. That's right. Yeah, all you gotta do is catch 23, 24 pounds. You'll be leading. You're gonna do that on that wacky worm today. You're gonna catch yeah, right. two or three six pounders today. We may catch 18 and be leading. It's pretty dang tough. Yeah, I, don't, I think 40 pounds will be leading after two days for sure. Yeah. And it might not be that much, dude. Like, I mean, it's hot. Obviously, 20 pounds is, I mean, my, my 18 was lucky, but 20 pounds is. Your 18 was skill. Well, I mean, I hate to use, I hate to use the word luck in what we do. We knew you were killing them. But when you stumble across an eight pounder and you catch her in five minutes, it's pretty. It's pretty fortunate. That's pretty good. Pretty fortunate. <laughs> what is what is luck? It's where preparation meets opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Doesn't look like the fog's going to get us, which is a good thing. We'll have a full day of fishing. So, you know, weight wise, I think I need 
28 pounds total to be safe. The weight could go up today, possibly, because there's not going to be as much wind. So 28, I think, will be a squeak in at 28, but we need more than that, obviously. I mean, we're not here just to make checks. We're here to make finals, so. Running through my mind of where to go, where to start, all that kind of stuff. I think there's a few fish left on those, some of those bars, which is good. And if I can get a few bonus fish this morning, it would be good. You know, yesterday morning just didn't work out. I was kind of boxed in there on that one spot, just didn't catch them. So maybe I can start off really strong this morning. 15, 20 minutes of just chaos. It is day two, stop number two of 2023. We're going to get to Bassmaster Elite at Lake Seminole. Moving day on the Bassmaster Elite Series. You've got to stay inside the top 50 to keep your tournament alive. Top 50 moving to semifinal Saturday, and the top 10 fish on Championship Sunday. Good job. Thank you. I've already got, I've been calling since uh, I got here. Oh, man. <laughs> no, dude, they ain't biting. You call them all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think you you definitely burned it down. Somebody must have stuck him yesterday. It is what it is, man. Let's go. We'll figure it out.
fish are jacked up, dude. Sad one, that's my biggest one. But you gotta, you just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep going. Find the big one here in a little bit. Gonna do it. That felt good though. Should have started oh. here. There you go. There Might be a two pounder. I guess we can put it in as a two pounder. Oh, I got a good one. I mean, it's a good one. I don't want to got. Two, four? Yeah. When there's two, four. All right. Maybe. It's going to be close. Yeah, he'll call it. He'll call it. Better than Yeah, being a call. Just use baits that sit on. Ooh, but it helps. But it helps. And I 
that probably had us like a three pounder. <laughs> that thing not near as big as I thought. We'll call it two and a half, huh? I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah. Four pounder? You. No, I got four. I'm about to give up on this place. <laughs> this is, hey, this is as tough as I've ever seen. This, this just doesn't even make sense. Like, I'm literally to a point I don't even know what to do. I, 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 I was the same way in practice. I'm like, they're not out, they're not in. I don't know. A whopper. It was rough on me today. I think Hiller could have caught more than one hand. <laughs> Seven time FLW Tour winner, former Forest Wood Cup champion from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Merton. 16 pounds, seven ounces yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. Tougher day today, 16.7 yesterday. Today, eight pounds, five ounces gives you 24.12. And unfortunately, below the projected cut this yeah. week around, Scott. I mean, look, I've been doing this 20-some years. You're going to have some bad tournaments along the way. But you know what? Every fish is important because at the end of the year, we're trying to make the Bassmasters Classic. We're trying to make points. All those things matter. So that's a true bust. And I did catch eight and a half pounds a day because it could have been a lot worse. So looking forward to the next event at the Bassmasters Classic. Get, have a chance to try to pull something off special for Pop. So we're gear up for that, prepare, and hopefully make it home tonight and give, a, give the wife and the – family a big old hug and a kiss. Always great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you in Knoxville. Whopping eight pounds, five ounces. 
I think Hiller could have caught more with one hand today. You know, like, like I said on stage, been doing this 27 years. You're going to have some tournaments that make you scratch your head, and this is kind of one of them. Practice wasn't that great. We, we scrounged up a decent bag yesterday. Today the wheels just came off, but it's never, you know, you just need those opportunities to kind of pop up every once in a while and take advantage of them, and I just never really had an opportunity today. I mean, they caught them, you know, hindsight's 20-20. I'm going to break this thing down pretty good in a, in a 2020 video for you, but at the end of the day, uh, hopefully Canterbury caught him. Hopefully uh, Matt caught him again. He'll make the cut. A former progressive bass master angler of the year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Had 13 pounds, three ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. 13 pounds, 6 ounces, gives him 26 pounds and 9 ounces. He moves into 25th place. Halfway through the weigh-in, and you're in 25th and 50 go tomorrow, so it's going to be close. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, I think the lighter fly is probably going to catch him better. But, man, I tell you what, I really I love this place. This is an awesome crowd on a Friday, and, uh, man, I, I, w I hope we come back again. You know, I love this place, and it's just been a grind on me to get bites this week, but... Uh, I sure would like to go again tomorrow. I'm gonna have to sweat it out, but I think I'm gonna fall a little bit short, but I'll probably be hanging out at the Yamaha booth tomorrow, so anybody wants to come by and see me, we'll talk about fishing, and maybe a little bit of deer hunting. Appreciate it. Well, it's great to have you here. A two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Team Toyota's Matt Airy. 18 pounds, eight ounces yesterday. He's leading our Phoenix folks a big bass with an eight one from yesterday. Bought it for his girls. What a good dad. Five fish today, 15 pounds, eight ounces. Puts him in 10th place with 34 pounds even. All right, just wrapped up day two. We had a little over 15 pounds. Um, keeps us in the hunt. You know, we're not completely out of it. I think we're sitting about 33, 34 pounds for two days. Uh, we did our job. We made it to day three, but it's going to take a big bag to make a run at this thing tomorrow. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to need to stumble across. I'm sight fishing pretty much exclusively at this point. Um, I need to find some females. That's all there is to it. I need to find some big girls, some seven, eight pounders, like we did yesterday, and catch not one, but two of them. A couple six pounders go a long way. So uh, we're going to get after it tomorrow. Hopefully, find a couple of them big ones. Well, I, I, I almost, I'm, I'm not in a good mood, okay? I, but that, that's just because I'm passionate about what I do. You know, this week, it was like, it, it's happened before where you just get in a position in your head where you don't really understand at all what to do. And when that happens, it, it's hard to get out of that. It's hard, it's hard to say, okay, like, well, I needed to just pick something and settle into it. And it just didn't happen. Like I went shallow, I went deep. I, I did all, all kind of things. Couple, a couple little things. Like I, now that I know what one of the guys I think is leading, he had 26 pounds today. I watched him catch a bunch of them on a drop shot, you know, out there in that 14, 15 foot water. And it's exactly what what I was doing uh, a couple times in practice, which you know I didn't I didn't stick with that long enough to kind of develop that. And it, where he's actually catching them, I actually fished through that zone. Because when I looked at the map, I looked at the contours, I thought, you know, that might be a good spot for a big bunch of fish to be hanging out. Now, obviously he wasn't catching a lot of fish, but he was catching big ones. I just didn't stick with that. I, I caught big ones. I caught a six-pounder and a couple three-pounders and stuff like that. So, you know, the sight fishing thing, here's the mistake we made, 100%. We try to predict the future, and that's the wrong thing to do. This time of the year, spring, fish have a mind of their own, you know, it just didn't happen. So... This week was tough, but the boat held up well. Uh, the boat's running fast this year, 72 miles an hour, which is awesome. You know, every fish is important. Even though it was a bad day, even though I'm not going to get a, a big check, I'm going to get a little check, which is nice. Um, every fish is important for points. So, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Canterbury missed the cut as well, which stinks. Matt did make the cut, so awesome job to you, Matt. We kind of figured you'd make the cut with that wacky worm in your hand, but... I'm gonna head. We're gonna head out. We're we're out of here, dude. We are gone. We're gonna wipe all this, this Seminole smudge off our boat, and we're gonna head 
home and we're gonna go hang out with the family for a few days and then we're gonna go to the keys we're gonna go we're gonna go relax and now we're gonna get ready for the Bassmasters Classic the biggest tournament of my life because we're gonna make something special happen there I'm hungry I'm determined and yes we're gonna make something special happen Bassmasters Classic is the next tournament guys so now time to forget all this mess and let's get serious thanks for watching these episodes guys thank you so much for all the support guys and we will see you later bye